Hello. Oh, one four six. Oh, it's you, darling. Now listen. You're a marvellous agent. You've got me some wonderful jobs in the past, but this new play you've just sent me, well, I don't think I'm right for the part. <laughs> well, I could be wrong, but I just don't see myself as a mother superior. <laughs> now, if it was one of those nice little French farces, one of those dear little bedroom romps, <laughs> well, I don't really call that acting. Oh, it's a television. Who? Morton and White? <laughs> Morecambe and White? Well, who are they? <laughs> They've got short, fat, hairy what? <laughs> oh, no, darling, no, no, no. I'd much rather not be in a show like that. Thank you. For... Oh, well, I've got to go now. There's somebody at the door. You mean that's going to be Morecambe and Wise? You mean to say that you told them they could just come here and see me? You are terrible. Well, I'll ring you back. Miss Vanilla Fielding? Oh, what a strange coincidence. That's my name, too. <laughs> <laughs> Do come in, Miss Fielding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a relief. You know, I was so worried. For one terrible moment, I thought you were going to be Morecambe and Wise. <laughs> I am. I'm and wise. And wise. Yes, Eric's outside. You just shut the door on him. Oh, uh, <laughs> do come in. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's all. Right. For you. <laughs> I've got the bottom of your garden. I hope you don't. <laughs> Will you come this way, please? <laughs> so this is where it happens, then. This is where it happens. I thought so. <laughs> The romps, the hijinks, the frolics. Behave yourself. Yes. I must say, you have a lovely place here. Absolutely wonderful. Pa, you've got, you've got some good stuff here, haven't you? That's genuine stuff, that, huh? You know that. I'm no mug, you know, about this stuff. I was once on going for a song, wasn't I? Yes. What was the song I sang? I, I forgot the words. <laughs> I remember now. What's this door lead? Hey? There's a fella in there. Yes, it's my bank manager. <laughs> they do get everywhere, don't they? <laughs> You've got an overdraft coming through your keyhole, do you know that? <laughs> Won't you sit down, Mr. Wise? What can I do for you? Oh, thank you very much. Mr. Morecambe, will you make yourself comfortable? That's most kind. Thank you. <laughs> What's the matter with you? How are we going to get a go in the play if you act like that? Well, that's the kind of stuff she does on television, isn't it? to her. All those rocks and everything. She's well known for her frolics. I do apologise for my partner's behaviour, Miss Fielding. That's very kind of you, Mr. Wise. So, uh... <laughs> I say. Yes? What a lovely little thing you are. <laughs> Thank you. You're small, but I'll bet you're a beautiful little mover. <laughs> Could I have a word with you on your other ear? Oh, yes. <laughs> you won't be able to handle this lady, I can tell you that. So you I forget about the whole thing. Yeah. Make it a musical. Try and get Vera Lynn. We'll meet again. We'll be all right. <laughs> but I, I think she'll be very good in the part, you see, eh? Ernikins, darling. We're off. We're away now. <laughs> Didn't you say something about a play? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Fielding, no doubt you've heard of the famous Sir Ernest Wise players. No. Oh, you're too kind. <laughs> well, I've written a romantic play. It's a great love affair between Lord Nelson and Lady Hamilton. Oh! Who's going to play Lord Nelson? I play the part of Lord Nelson. I'll do it. <laughs> Shall we have a rehearsal now? <laughs> Don't forget, if you're playing Nelson, you'll only have one arm. Remember that. <laughs> I am. I'd like you to play my, my, my leading lady, you see. Oh, I'd simply love to. Yes. Uh, could I have a word with you, Marty? Uh, Marty? Marty Fielding. No, no. Fenella no. <laughs> Fielding. Oh, him. Marty, oh, Marty Feldman. Yes, I'm sorry about that. Yes. yes. Uh, what I was going to say was, uh, what do you like on the hornpipe, if you'll pardon the expression? Well, well, have you no decorum? No, it fell off during that course now. <laughs> uh, Miss Fielding. Yes, darling. Uh, I, I would like you to play the part of Lady Hamilton, you see, because not only are you one of our leading actresses, but you have a rare beauty. How do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> eh? I must admit that 
She's playing the part of Lady Hamilton does intrigue me. She really did love Lord Nelson, you know. Theirs was a very torrid, passionate affair. She loved him with a fire and a passion. She loved him as no woman has ever loved a man before or since. He, she knew that he was all man, and he knew that she was all woman. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have a word with you, please? <laughs> this lad has got to get up in the morning. Well, isn't that the kind of thing you want? It's the kind of thing I want, yes, but I don't think he could take it. Have you seen it? What's happened to him? Well, I think he's blown his fuse. <laughs> you see, he's led a very, very sheltered life. He doesn't even know what wife fronts are. <laughs> Doesn't he look lovely? I could eat him. But you mustn't. I'm, he's not really strong enough for you in this party. If he plays this love scene, he'll go round, round shoulder for the rest of his life. <laughs> well, he won't be able to do it. I'm sorry. Well, we, we can't just leave the lovely little fellow like that. Can't, can't you bring him to? Well, four. Look what happened with one. <laughs> Leave it to me. I'll wake him up. Here's a part I owe you. And Miss Fielding, if you could play the part, I'm sure. <laughs> That you'll be absolutely superb. You see what I mean? <laughs> amazing. It is amazing, isn't it? What's amazing? Your play, you've written some rubbish in your time, but this is the best yet. And uh, there is one point I would like to raise. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. I don't want anything untoward in my play. Mm. Anything that would upset my follower. Your follower, yes. Yeah. Well, he's, uh, one lives in Bournemouth, the other one's in Luton, isn't it? <laughs> the one in Luton's deaf. Yes. So speak up if you do the part. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'd be delighted to play the part. Oh. But there is just one thing I ought to mention, perhaps. Oh, yes. What's that? Well, I... I do have a thing about certain words. Be careful. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be taking you home in a bucket. <laughs> certain words? Yes, well, you know, when I hear these certain words mentioned, well, it, it does something to me. How do you mean? Well, it's nothing really, but if you have these words in your play, well, you see, if I hear these words, I become a little, well, over-romantic, if you understand me. <laughs> well, I don't want anything like that in my play. You said that without moving your lips. <laughs> she can do it as well. <laughs> Who's me? Eh? Are We're you still here? Yeah. Can't you go and watch something? <laughs> what? Yes. Something like that. What are these certain words? Oh, dear, I don't know what you'll think of me. Balloons. <laughs> Haydock Park. <laughs> and Oldham Athletic. Yeah. <laughs> Balloons, Haydock Park and Oldham Athletic. Darling, I darling. I think I'll take him home now. He's had enough. Well, I, I <laughs> I'll did, take him home. I did warn you. Yes, yes. Go on, on his new bike. He's got a new bike. I've got a new bike. <laughs> You've never had one with a crossbar before, have you? No. <laughs> I'll take him home. I'm looking forward to you playing my Lady Hamilton to my Lord Nelson. Yes. I can't wait. Isn't she marvellous? One of the finest female impersonators in the business. Yes, that's true. I'll, I'll trust her. Good night, Mr. Wise. I'll see you later. <laughs> I, I, I thought he'd never leave quite. Good night, Mr. Moore. <laughs> <laughs> Balloons, Haydock Park, Oldham Athletic. <laughs> <laughs>